Now, our, my guest coming up, who is definitely, he's a gun enthusiast, he's an entrepreneur, inventor of McAfee antivirus software, it's John McAfee, and uh, we're going to talk about Obama's cybersecurity plan. He wants $19 billion now to uh, basically spy on you. Uh, Mac, we just have an article come out by Kit Daniels, John McAfee, Obama administration too incompetent to implement cybersecurity. Totally agree with him on that. Um, I don't think it's there to implement cybersecurity. I think it's there to bolster the spy grid. So I want to get his opinions on that as well. And uh, he says it will end in failure if implemented. According to cybersecurity expert John McAfee, he's been a long time guest on this show, big time gun enthusiast. I've gone out shooting with him a couple times. John, how are you doing? I'm doing great, sir. Thanks for having me on. Well, thank you. Uh, being, being, being a gun enthusiast, I think Alex uh, put out a video uh, last year of he and I uh, shooting a 50 caliber handheld. That's right. Uh, Sidearm. So I had, I had, yeah. And, and you're not going to find a, a photo of me anywhere online where I'm not uh, either packing with a shoulder holster or carrying a, a shotgun or an AR-15 or something. I am indeed a gun enthusiast, um, uh, a strong supporter of the Second Amendment, and I oppose any and all regulations. I like uh, it. I mean, I like well, it. You're also running for libertarian nomination, too. I'm for, uh, running for libertarian nomination for the, for the uh, presidential um, uh, election in November. I, I feel certain I will get that nomination. Um, I, I, I joined the Libertarian Party for a, a couple of reasons. Number one, I started my own party, the Cyber Party. Um, as we got into it, by the way, I'm, I'm $9 million in debt now, uh, attempting to get on state ballots. Ross Perot, with all of his billions, only managed to get on 37 state ballots. Um, we estimated a cost of between 50 and 70 million dollars. Now, there's something wrong with this system. I mean, it is screwed up. Where uh, it, you cannot be an average American, no matter how talented, intelligent, uh, dedicated, or how much you want to serve this country, um, and and win against the the two giant machines that rule this company, this country. Yeah, I agree. That's uh, that's so they could parade people out like Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, John Kasich, uh, just people with no real substance. Um, I'm kind of uh, iffy on, on uh, Ted Cruz as well. And, you know, so far, I like the fact that Trump's an outsider, but he's also, he's kind of an insider as well. But at least he's using his own money. He's not taking money from the taxpayers. He's not getting money from donations. He's, he's putting up his own money. And so you've had to put up your own money as well to get on these ballots. How hard is it uh, as a third party candidate to get on uh, a state ballot? Well, it's, it's virtually impossible in states like California and Florida. I mean, the, the expense is enormous. Um, you know, you have to have 500,000 signatures. Um, do you realize what it costs per signature? We're talking about 10 to $15 per signature. Um, it's an insane system. So the Libertarian Party has ballot access in all 50 states. That's what they bring. What I bring is technology and cybersecurity into the Libertarian Party, which has been lacking in the Libertarian Party uh, up until this point. So I think it's a perfect mix. And in, in terms of my own heart, I, I, I have lived the life of a Libertarian. Uh, I believe in personal freedom, small government. I mean, some days I would wake up and say, no government. It's, it's, it's that bad. I hear you there. <laughs> we have, we, we have our, our government that sucks up $3.8 trillion a year in nonsense programs. Um, our, our, how, our Department of, of Housing and Urban Development, $1.2 trillion a year for, for doing what? And the Department of Agriculture, $300 billion to pay farmers not to grow food. I mean, it's insane. It has to change. Uh, and as far as cybersecurity is, is concerned, we had none. Um, two days ago, it was announced that the FBI was hacked and also the Department of Homeland Security. How convenient. How convenient, right? How, right, how convenient. Uh, and Obama's plan, which is basically education, will do nothing. I mean, we are on the verge of a cyber war with China and Russia. There's no difference between those two countries as far as relationship to the U.S. is concerned. They both would like to see us disappear. And they have a technology. They can push a button today and shut down our entire power grid, our emergency services, our communications, our food distribution systems. 
we would collapse as a nation. And we have no alternative because we have no way to fight it. Proof, last year, the Department of Personnel Management, 21 million records of every employee of the U.S. government for the past 50 years was sucked up by the Chinese. It was like taking candy from a baby. This cannot stand. We have to have strong cybersecurity. And there is simply no one in the government today capable of designing and implementing it. Well, and no one trusts the government either. I mean, here we have, back, this is wired back in, I think, 2013, no, 2012. CIA chief will spy on you through your dishwasher. That's what they're concerned about. They're not concerned about cybersecurity. They're concerned about spying on the American people to find out who doesn't agree with their agenda. And here's another one just came out in November. Li-Fi has just been tested in the real world. And it's 100 times faster than Wi-Fi. All that stuff's going to be connected to the grid. And that's basically Wi-Fi through light pulses. It's going to be yeah. reading stuff through light pulses. Tell us how that technology works, John. Well, you know, it doesn't work very well. I mean, it works extremely well, but not for our benefit. Exactly. First of all, most of the Internet of Things uses off-the-shelf software. I mean, for example, um, uh, uh, the, a refrigerator manufacturer, they know everything about making things cold efficiently and keeping it cold. Most know nothing about cybersecurity, so they buy off-the-shelf components, which can be easily hacked into, not just by, by hackers, but by our government. Now, our, our government is basically a criminal organization operating behind a black curtain that we cannot see through. We don't have a clue where our tax dollars go, what's actually happening. I mean, we're, we're talking about uh, Hillary Clinton's emails. They are so confidential that even members of Congress cannot read them. Nobody knows what is really happening. That also has to change. The government was created to serve the people. This is the government of the people by the people, for the people. But now it's become a government of the powerful, by the powerful, and for the powerful. That and has to stop. I totally agree. And go back to China, what you said about China. Here's an article. Security backdoor found in China-made U.S. military chip. So we're designing these chips, but they're getting made in China, and they have secret yeah. backdoors in them. Everything is coming out of China, and it yeah. all can be hacked because either, A, we're not designing our stuff right, so that means we're incompetent. Or two, we're designing stuff with those back doors so we can use them, but also the Chinese are piggybacking on that. Right. Well, what's worse than the military stuff is the fact that every, every single router used in America today uses chips designed and created by China. And we have already discovered that China has placed back doors into those chips. Now, think about this. That means that our entire communication system could be shut down if we piss off the Chinese. And you know that will happen. We don't even have to make them angry. They don't like us. This is a fact of life. They really do not, I'm sorry to say. Um, and, and, and for good cause. I mean, we have been the world's policemen for 50 years, interfering in the affairs of foreign nations. Um, you know, we, we bomb countries right and left, and then we wonder why people are angry at us. Good God. We need to look in the mirror. We have problems here at home that are not being solved. Instead, why should they? Because we are the enemy to our government. They treat us like the enemy. Going through the TSA, what do you do? You take off your shoes. You take off your belt. Hands in the air, being frisked. They scrutinize your it's prisoner training. Lives. Prisoner training. It's all right. It feels like going into prison. Yeah. It does. And they, they even say hands up when you go into the body scanner. They go hands yes. up, hands up. Yes. I don't feel protected. I feel like the enemy. And if I feel like the enemy, I am the enemy. We, we have a heart for a reason to, so that we can sense the insanity around us. And it is insane to say, look, uh, the NSA says we want to investigate every aspect of your life because if we want to protect you. And we can't do that unless we can assure you that you are not the enemy we're protecting you from. Think about it. That's the reality. It's crazy. And you're trusting the government with this power to keep you safe when they can't even build a healthcare website with billions of dollars thrown into it, hundreds of millions thrown into it, and they can't even make a damn website work that's supposed to give you their free healthcare that they talk about. No, no, and actually the healthcare costs more now. Yeah. So we 
we, we spent we spent two hundred million dollars. We could have the first hundred million building it, another hundred million fixing it, and it's still not fixed. And now everybody has to pay more. It is a monstrosity. Everything about it. And now, and now they want nineteen billion to update the cybersecurity uh, grid across this nation. You think that's going to keep you safe? You think that's going to keep your credit card records safe? No, well, private companies do that. Yes, how are they going to do it? Because there obviously is no one inside the government today capable of doing it. Every single agency within the United States government has been hacked in the past two years. So, Christ, if there is someone in the government that is capable, they need to be fired because they haven't done their job. No, the fact is no one within the government is capable. It is too bureaucratic. It is too old. It is managed by sick, tired, old directors that need to go home. Yeah, I totally agree. And in fact, you actually, didn't you go testify in front of Congress at one point? No, I refused. I refused. Because it wouldn't have done any good. For Obamacare, yes, the, the Republicans asked me to come and testify. I said, what good is it going to do? No, I refused. Well, because seriously, do you think it would have mattered? No. We have a machine that has its own direction its own power, and its own purpose. And me, even as a cybersecurity specialist, I can't change that. We need to, we need to invoke Article 5 and throw every, every son of a bitch out of there. Or we need someone as a president with the strength and the conviction to serve this country and to change what he can change or she can change. And we haven't had that since Dwight Eisenhower. I'm not saying Dwight was a great president. But he was the last president who didn't want to be the president. Good God. He had nuclear arsenals at his command during the war. He was the general. He had battleships and planes. Do you think it was an, uh, uh, a promotion to be the president? No, he did not want to do it. But he had the need to serve the country that he had protected. And he did so. And that was in the 50s. I lived through the 50s. I'm 70 years old. I know what dreams are made of now. In the 50s, anything was possible. Anything. Now what's possible? Well, a lot of government regulations in red tape, the, the absolute certainty of, of the worst coming. It, 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 the government it, picking winning, winners and losers in business, they decide, yeah. they get to decide they who's going to move on into the of next course. round. And it's, it's course, sick. And they want to kill innovation. If you want to start a business, You've got thousands of pages of documents. You've got to prove your work safe is placed. You've got to prove all kinds of nonsense which have nothing to do with entrepreneurism. Taking an idea which can help all of us and implementing it. It's almost impossible today. It is because the government wants control over everything. I don't need a mother and father. I did not, you know, we did not create the government to be our mom and pop, to tell us what to do. Hell no. We created the government so that we could tell it what to do. It should be our servant, not our boss. It has become our boss, our manager, our mom and pop. It tells us what we can put into our bodies, what life-saving drugs we cannot have because they may be dangerous to the terminally ill patient. They tell us that we cannot openly carry guns, even though the Second Amendment. Second Amendment doesn't say you have the right to own guns. It says you have the right to bear arms, carry them on your person. I mean, this has been traditional since the beginning of time. In the Renaissance, everybody had a sword. Why? We didn't have guns back then. We have the right to bear arms. But no, the government wants to take that even away from us. Why? Because if we are all bearing arms, it is much more difficult to control our enemies. I agree. And I showed last week uh, a video that a lady shot on a cell phone. This is in Mexico. Six Mexi well-armed Mexican police officers hightailing it when the cartel showed up to come put a hit on a guy. They hightailed yeah. it out of there. They come in and grab the guy from his family, take him outside and shoot him and take off. And the cops are running because yeah. the cops aren't there to protect you. They're there to do things like we have another article that's going to come out today. I got an email from a, a listener. His mom woke up to all these sounds. SWAT team is outside a chicken farm. Going to conduct a raid on a chicken farm. Are they looking for somebody? No. 
the Humane Society is there to look at the cages. So we got to have a SWAT team go in there and escort these people. That's the lunacy yeah. of government. John, we're about to go to break. We'll, we'll have you on the, ne the, the next segment here, about five minutes. John McAfee running for Libertarian Party for President of the United States. You're watching Rob Dew. This is uh, the InfoWars.com Alex Jones Show. Fourth hour of Overdrive. Thanks for watching. So fourth hour of Overdrive. It's a long title there. My guest for this last segment is John McAfee. You could go check out his platform at McAfee2016.com. There he's got a nice little uh, statement there. The president's job is to find common ground in which all Americans, excluding none, can stand. I'm told that isn't possible, yet I can give you one clear example. We are all humans and share the commonalities of fear, love, anger, jealousy, hope, and compassion. If we start there, we can begin the conversation and perhaps grow that commonality into a substantive base to affect real positive change in our nation, John McAfee. And you can also, uh, there's a donate box there as well. Join the movement. You, there's plenty of ways you can help out. John, what are some ways people can help you out, get to become the Libertarian nominee? Well, well first of all, if, if, if you believe in the audience in any way that I can bring sanity back into this country, then we need your help. Uh, go to McAfee2016.com, press the donate button, even if it's 50 cents, whatever you can spare. Um, uh, I, we need your help in order to change America. Uh, read the platform. See if you do or do not agree with me. Uh, I think that you will find in your heart that you do agree. Uh, I stand for small government. Uh, I stand for individual rights, which we've lost. I stand for privacy, which we have none of today. None. We are being spied on in every respect by our government. The worst, the worst spy master of all. Um, I believe that we have the right to bear arms and to do with our lives as we please, as long as we don't hit people and take their stuff. So um, please, go to McAfee2016.com, press the donate button. We seriously need your help. I'll, I'll leave it at that. And I tell you what, the Libertarian uh, Party is exactly opposite of what you see in the two establishment parties. I've been voting Libertarian, I think, since the second Clinton election uh, I believe it was Harry Brown who I voted for because I'm reading about the Republicans and Democrats. And I'm like, I don't agree with either one of these guys. And uh, and then I go, what what else is out there? What's, and somebody said, well, check out the Libertarian Party. And I went and read about them. And I'm like, Libertarian, that's what I am. Uh, fiscally and conservative, I, socially liberal. Yes. And, and uh, I think this year is the first year that the Libertarians have a chance of winning. I really believe I can win this election. I do. Um, I, I have the uh, the credentials, certainly not in government. You don't want uh, government credentials, I don't think. No. Uh, in business, I run a business. I know that you can't just print money when you want to spend something. Um, I, I know that uh, the government has become so bureaucratically overburdened that it no longer serves us. It no longer serves us. It was created to serve the people. What's happening? We have to serve the government. We have to do what the government says. Bullshit. The government should do what we say. And as president, I will ensure to the best of my ability that that's what happens, to bring sanity back to this crazy establishment uh, that has become a machine that grinds the soul of whoever becomes part of it. And if you stand up to it, they will do everything in their power to totally crush you. They'll take your life, your liberty, your pursuit of happiness. They'll take it all from you. I got. They, they've already tried that with me. Man. I mean, you know, I, I am, I am the, the the biggest target of the NSA, the CIA, and the FBI now. I really am. I'm followed everywhere I go. Because you Why? know they're a fraud. They are a fraud. Yeah. They, the entire government is a criminal organization. That's the best way to describe them, operating in complete secrecy from the people that they are designed to. Serve. Yep. Well, <laughs> the dogs are barking. They must yeah. be voting for John McAfee. They obviously uh, support uh, you. John, thanks yeah. for joining us today. McAfee2016.com is where you can find out all the information on his run for Libertarian for President. It's going to be a crazy election season, but we'll be here covering it all at Infowars.com. I'm your host, Rob Dude. Thanks for joining me on the fourth hour tonight. Stay tuned for Jakari Jackson on the Infowars Nightly News.